Hello and very good afternoon to all. Welcome back to my channel, Navin Tamta. I am Axel VBA. Guys, today I have brought a very important and a good topic for you. Since I have, have been a member of a Facebook community page wherein questions related to excellent VBA keep coming in. And some days before we had received a very good example there. Somebody named Amy Childs had asked a very good question. The question was, I could use some help. I have a spreadsheet that has employee names in column A, corresponding position in column B, and their supervisor position in column C. I want to put the supervisor's name in column D so that I need to take the supervisor's position in C and find it in B and then take the name in A and put it in D. Does that make sense? Does anyone have a fancy formula to do it or a macro text? Thanks in advance. So guys, she had given a print shot of this, the print shot of her Excel sheet. So here, if you will have a look, some employees names have been given here their position number and their supervisor position number and she is looking for to you know fetch out these names from column a to column d basis of the values given on column c so it was just a print shot hence i made the same example here in my spreadsheet and here I will solve this same query. Now, you can see that supervisor's position has been given on column C and I have to fetch the details from right to left. So a simple VLOOKUP formula cannot be work here. You know, uh, because VLOOKUP formula always works from left to right. It does not go from right to left. So one dynamic function index match comes in in my mind and I would be using it here. In order to do this, I will have to give equal to sign here and then as soon as I will write index and hit tab, it asks me, asks me to give an array. So guys, array, what does array mean? Array means it's asking me to give the range out of this data. So here my index will be the column AA because these employee names to be fetched in column D. So fix it by pressing F4 key, then put in one comma here. Now, if you will again have a look at the syntax, is it's asking me to give the row number. Now here, if I give the row number here, my formula will become static and I do not want this to be done. I want my formula to be more dynamic. So making it dynamic, I will use match function here, match. And what the syntax of match function is appearing here, the match function is asking me for a lookup value. So the lookup value of match function will be the C, the value given on C to cell. As you can see in this example, the MA child has asked the same thing here. Their supervisor position in column C, all right? And I want to put the supervisor's name in column D. So I need to take the supervisor's position in C and find it in B. Means she wants to give the lookup, uh, wants us to, you know, give the lookup value as given on column C and find the same in column D. So this is what I have done here. And as soon as I put in a comma here, now it's asking me for an, an array 
array means I want to search this cell value in this entire range. Fix it again. And now put in a comma. As soon as you will put in a comma here, now it's asking you to give the match type. And my match type will always be exact match. So keep zero here and close your formula with double parenthesis. And as soon as you will click enter, you will get the, you know, you will get one answer here, which is Scarlett Johnson. Now, I want to validate why Scarlett Johnson came here. So if you will have a look here, the lookup value was five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I want to search this value in this complete range, so five, six, seven, eight, nine is coming here, and the leftmost value is Scarlett Johnson. So that is the reason it has returned Scarlett Johnson here. It's an accurate result, guys. So I can easily drag this formula down to apply this formula in each row. And I have got the desired output here. So now guys, this is the best way to, if you come across such a situation in your work, you can use this formula in the same way. It will never get failed and give you the accurate output. Try using it in your laptop, use it in some other data and fetch the detail out. So guys, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and don't forget to leave your valuable comments in comment section. As of now, I am signing off guys. Bye-bye, take care and Namaskar.